Joining us from Washington now is TARP's Inspector General, Neil Borofsky. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So we see this TARP money, this, this troubled asset relief program money go out. More than $400 billion goes out. A lot to institutions too big to fail. Some $70 billion has come back, some even paying interest. Do you think the rest of it will ever come back? I think it's too early to know what the precise numbers are, but I think it's unrealistic to expect that we're going to get all of that money back. Uh, as as, as Chip mentioned in the preceding piece, $50 billion is, go, is uh, intended for mortgage modification. There's no expectation at all that any of that money will come back. How, how can you explain to a lot of people whose noses are out, out of joint, and I think it's probably all of us, that so much of this TARP money went to these big institutions, a lot of it was paid back, but some of these institutions used it to pay bonuses. Did they not know this is our money? No, I, I think this is a, a, a significant issue, obviously. Um, and one of the problems is that once these financial institutions paid back their TARP funds, notwithstanding the fact that they having this, these enormous profits that they're recognizing are because of not just their TARP funds that they've received, but other government support. And they've generated these huge profits, and now they're free to make huge bonuses um, based on profits they made because of government support. But there's really nothing uh, within the TARP or the legislation to stop them from doing so. And whose fault is that? Uh, I don't know, you know whose fault this was. These were policy decisions that were made. Um, so it's it, those who made these policies, and, and whether it's in the TARP, and once a, a, a company pays back their TARP funds, they're not subject to those restrictions, mm -hmm. or the other federal programs of support, which don't have any executive pay restrictions, those from right. the Federal Reserve or the FDIC, which are so hope, helpful to these institutions, right. but don't have any limitations on executive well, pay. Well, regardless of the ones that paid back the money and, and, and uh, paid bonuses, that's sort of, you know, that, that, that horse is down the road already. But there are some that are still you know, not, not paid their money back and paid the bonuses anyway. I guess that's the, those are the ones that make people crazy. If you were going to give TARP a grade, what kind of grade would you give it? I think right now it would have to be an incomplete. Uh, it's, it's such a diverse program, originally intended just to buy toxic assets. It's mm -hmm. now a dozen different programs, a new one being rolled out today, as, as, as indicated earlier. And uh, it, it's just too early to tell. There have been some successes in, as far as pulling us back from the brink of a financial collapse. Uh, but as far as restoring mm -hmm. lending, helping homeowners, uh, helping small businesses, that hasn't materialized yet. So we still have to wait and see. Mr. Borofsky, thanks for your time this morning. Do appreciate it. Thank you. All right.